Okay, to be clear, I have lost my voice officially, so I'm going to let him do the talking about one of his knives. Yep. Uh, my name is Rich Nyman. Uh, I'm the author of Buckmaster Knives, the authorized history of the models 184 and 185. I also wrote the book, uh, uh, the M9 Bayonet, the authorized history. Uh, I had the honor to design this knife with a Navy SEAL commander called, uh, D his name is DT Tom Coulter. And Commander Coulter requested the original Buckmaster uh, back in 1984. Um, a few things uh, that was requested, they needed a hollow handle for explosive caps because that's what they wanted. They wanted some sort of anchoring system. So this is what they came up with, these uh, anchor uh, pittons, uh, aka spikes. Then they, he didn't request saw teeth, nor did he request serrations, and he requested the spear point. But this one made history, uh, and this was the original Buckmaster in 1984. Now fast forward, fast forward now, um, 40 years, and we've been having this knife in development for years now. Uh, this is the new Buckmaster Combat Diver. We deleted the saw teeth, we kept the serrations, we have a spear point. Now for the military, it's double-edged. Uh, for the civilian version, it is a uh, single edge on the bottom. The ones that the public's getting, they're only doing a thousand of these, literally only a thousand, that's it. And it will say 40th anniversary. Uh, I'm almost positive it will say 1984, 2024, but they did not do that on this particular one at the show. Now, this is the unique item. This is called the emergency anchor wing. You can actually pull it. It is spring-loaded. It's all stainless steel. Um, I'm going to point out one other thing. Excuse me about this blade. Right here, you notice it says Boss um, uh, uh, Boss 428C. So Paul Boss, our world-famous heat treater, who's part of the Blade Hall of Fame, uh, Paul came out of retirement just to. Um, uh, just to heat treat this knife for us. There's more cryos, there's more heat treat processes, and according to some of the top guys at Buck that have been working on knives for years, it has properties more like ATS-34, and everybody asks, why did you use 420? Well, the reason is, it's the most salt water resistant of what we, we have. And on top of it, we do a special Cerakote. Um, so, getting back to the anchor wing, the original anchors, could hold 250 pounds and the whole idea was literally to be anchoring well we do the same here but look at this that's how fast it deploys and this you can hook on a coral you can put a carabiner through here if there's no coral you take it out into the sand uh, that's another really cool feature of this um, the handle was made by an armor of one of the teams that's retired now uh, the fasteners are slotted purposely because if you're in a third world country and you need to change the handle out or whatever, you can literally do so. And they're the same fasteners on front and back and the grips have an anti-slip. Now, again, this year, literally only a thousand are being made. They're going to sell out super fast and it'll be a major collector's item. Uh, one last feature I want to point out, which is super cool. And we came up with this with a friend of ours who is, uh, he is at SEER uh, School West for both the, the Navy and the, the Marine Corps. And I'm not gonna say his rank, but he's special. So this holster is made by DeSantis. So DeSantis holsters, and it's proudly made in New York, USA. It, um, you can put the Buckmaster in it. You can, the anchor wing actually can go into here and it has a double strap for down. Uh, also, uh, you can deploy the emergency anchor wing. Look how fast that is. And you can have emergency grapple hook. So it's protected on both sides. So that's another feature of this knife. Uh, that's something really unique and special only to the Buckmaster. But you can get them, uh, uh, order them online at Buck. They're going to sell out super fast. And again, I'm Rich Nyman, uh, author, and uh, we appreciate it. You see all these skulls? That's a nod to the SEAL teams uh, and uh, Commander Coulter's 27 plus years 
of service to our, our wonderful uh, country. So we appreciate y'all. Thank you.